Uh, Lawn Medicine is a vibrant area and uh, one of the changes in it is that it's extended out to issues to do with law and health more generally and also law and bioethics. So a range of issues about life and death, the start and end of things, uh, matters of reproduction, all manner of issues to do with technology and the interface generally between people's well-being and legal regulation of health issues and health matters concerning the work done by health practitioners of all kinds. There's a new national scheme, so that extends to 14 different categories of health practitioners. A new book of expert evidence just came out a, a few months ago. It's the fifth edition. Uh, it has extended into a, a, a more substantial discussion about issues to do with concurrent evidence. Uh, which is a form of evidence that's given by practitioners at the one time. It's a development which started in Australia and is extending internationally. There are also issues to do with uh, reform of the law to do with expert evidence, including issues to do with admissibility and reliability of evidence, which are controversial in different parts of the world. The accounting uh, evidence chapter has been substantially extended and updated. Issues to do with patent law evidence and evidence by persons about the environment and local government issues are extended. And the new issue of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders has recently been published. And so a whole range of issues to do with mental health expert evidence are also covered more extensively and in an up-to-date way. A range of the chapters have been uh, updated and extended. A particular example of that is in the road safety area, where a new author has uh, uh, provided a good deal of additional material. And uh, in general, uh, with uh, expert evidence in the criminal law area being very dynamic and criminal law developments taking place all the while, there's been extension of chapters and modernization of them. Thank you.